Good morning. Here I am in London. The temperatures are going down and one certainly feels like it's autumn. Today's talk is very simple. It's something a Carmelite monk said a couple of days ago. He said often Jesus blesses us through very unlikely people. And I just want to share a little story with you about how that happened in my life and how it might happen also in yours, but also how you might be the blessing to somebody else. So basically, we're in Medjugorje. We went through a hard time a couple of years back. And basically, all the Irish people were told lies about us. People were told to keep away from us. People were even told we were evil and sodomites and all sorts of stuff. And like anything else, sometimes when mud is thrown, it sticks. And people listen to certain people when they speak like that. And so basically, we found ourselves in a very, very difficult situation. We found ourselves with very little money almost no accommodation and not sure where to go or what to do. And in the middle of it, one day, this Irish traveller came up to me. She lives in England, but she came up to me and she said, Michael, I haven't seen you in ages. How are you? And then I told her, I said, well, I said, I'm not super. But anyway, this is what's going on. Then she introduced me to her friends. One of her friends had lost her son a couple of years back in a very tragic accident. And the other friend was also a mother who had a big family. And those three traveller ladies, basically for the next week, they became three mammies to us. They looked after us. They bought us groceries. They helped us with money. They became our friends. They brought us here. They brought us there. They even set up a petition and even went over to England and rang their cousins and rang people in England to get some money come over to send so that they could buy us a hundred euro, a hundred whatever the equivalent of, of groceries before they left. They filled our entire flat. But the problem is that one Sunday they decided they'd cook us a meal. And when our landlord, we were renting a little place in Medjugorje, so when our landlord found out that we had Irish travellers, our English travellers, but English-Irish travellers anyway, into our apartment, we were told we had to leave. That we weren't allowed to have those type of people in our apartment. And I suddenly experienced even more just the level of discrimination sometimes people go through that are misunderstood on the margins. Those traveller ladies had prayed for us, had loved us, had helped us. They were Jesus and Mary to us more than anybody that had lived in Medjugorje for 20 years, 30 years or more. And yet we were kicked out of that apartment because we invited those people to help us because Jesus sent them. Now, fortunately, we obviously found another apartment and life went on. But even when we came to England and at the start it was very, very difficult. And one day we met one of them again. Her name was Lizzie. And again, she introduced her to one of her friends and they came to meet us. And again, they did the exact same thing. They understood our predicament of being Catholic, gay, trans, all the rest. They understood, understood sorry, the discrimination. They understood the injustice. Of course they did, because all their lives they have lived and continue to live the same thing just because they're travellers. They're called dirty, rotten, filthy tinkers and get out of here, basically. And they helped us. Again, they raised £150 or something to help us. And so basically today, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all the Irish travellers that have helped us immensely. Thank you for your love and for your support and for your generosity and for your prayers and for your perseverance and for your boldness at times to stand up and be counted and not to lie down, if you like, to the discrimination that you face in this world. And, you know, your example, if I'm honest, has strengthened us and give us the determination as well to basically to seek Jesus and to pray and not to be shy or ashamed of who we are and of our culture, of our identity. So thank you. But also a message to all of you out there. Sometimes Jesus will bless you and is going to bless you, but through very, very unlikely people. In fact, through people that up to this point you might think, gosh, keep away from me, I want nothing to do with the likes of you. And sometimes as well, Jesus is going to send you to bless groups of people that you thought never in a million years would have anything to do with you. What on earth could Jesus send you to those people? They would never listen to you. You're totally different. You're like chalk and cheese. You're like black and white, oil and water. And yet sometimes Jesus is going to use you to reach them. So today my message is very simple. Be ready for surprises. Don't limit the Holy Spirit in what he can do with you. And don't limit the Holy Spirit either in what he can do with others. 
Jesus is amazing. The Holy Spirit is amazing. He can work through very, very unlikely people. People you even think are seeped in sin, they haven't been to confession or mass for 50 years. He can still work through them. He can still, through an act of charity, ignite a spark. And just like a car that hasn't been started for years, spark it up, start it up, and guess what? It's back on the road in no time. So don't limit Jesus to boxes don't limit Jesus even to Christians, to Catholics. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, can work through people of all colours, creeds, sexualities, genders, all sorts of things. Even someone that you're convinced is seeped in mortal sin. As I said, with one spark, Jesus can start working in them again and they can come back to life. So basically, be open to surprises and thank you jesus for everything and everyone and all the unlikely people you have used and continue to use to help me and may it continue and may i continue to spread your message to spread your word and to teach more people about your love about your kindness about your generosity about your ways and about your healing power so praise you jesus thank you jesus from london from me have an awesome week goodbye